Hey guys, me here, and today I am doing a very different kind of video, something I've never really done before. As you guys know, last month I changed up my top 10 end of the month video format where instead of doing a 20-ish minute chat video, I ended up, or to playlist video, I ended up combining the two so that I could rank both title tracks and non-title tracks together. And I really, really like it, and it seems like you guys really like it too, but the one thing that I got a lot of comments on from people who are friends with me and just people in general reacting to the way that I changed um, was that they really missed me talking about comebacks that were happening in the previous month because I don't really include that in that video. So this month I'm going to try something different again where I do a collection plan for the following month kind of video. And this kind of video was requested um, but I thought that I could combine it to talk about just all comebacks that are happening in general. So the first thing I want to talk about is something that's technically already happened. It's NC Dream, NCT Dream's newest comeback. They released the music video for the title track the other day, but the actual album itself doesn't come out until the 3rd. But I do plan on buying the album. I did pre-order it and I am super, super excited for that. I did include the title track in this month releases um, for my top 25 video spoiler alert. I'll go ahead and link that video up above right now because it's coming out the exact same time as this video. Yes, so I do plan on buying that album. I'm super super excited to hear the rest of it because obviously the rest of it is not out yet and I'm really enjoying the title track so far and as you guys know I completed my NCT collection recently so all I need to do is kind of just keep up with it. So going back to just everything in order, also on September 3rd is Namuyan's album being released. Um, I didn't buy the albums together. For whatever reason, I thought that Wuyan was coming out the same time as or Dream was coming out the same time as another group that I'm going to talk about in a little bit, so I was going to order those together, um, but then the other group's pre-orders weren't up, and then I realized that Wuyan's actually on the same day as NCT Dream, but Anyways, I pre-ordered both versions of Uyan's album. I am an in-spirit. Uyan is one of my two biases in Infinite along with Sungyul. So um, I'm so excited. I absolutely adored his first mini album and he's been talking about this album since that album came out like two-ish years ago. So I am super, super excited for this Maybe it was three years ago. Um, I think it was three years ago. But yeah, I'm so excited because the two things that I wasn't sure were going to happen this year but I really wanted was um, Super Junior D&E's comeback in Korea and also a Wuyan solo album. And we're getting both of those things in less than a month. So that's super exciting for me. And I'm so excited. It looks gorgeous so far. And it sounds gorgeous. And this whole album just has... Uh, it has Dongwu on it and it also has Jungmo from the tracks and that song just I feel like is going to be my favorite song in the album because it sounds so good so far. Another couple of comebacks that are happening on the 3rd that I'm not going to buy but I'm interested in are 100% and also Blanc 7. I don't have any feelings either way towards either of those groups but they have both released music in the past that I'm interested in. Unless Blanc 7 is a new group and I'm thinking of someone else. But I know 100% I've at least liked their past songs so I always get excited when they release a comeback. September 4th, uh, Sunmi is making a comeback. It looks so good so far. A fan of Sunmi's music, I just don't really collect her albums so I probably won't end up buying the album but who knows, maybe this will blow me away and I'll be super interested in it. September 5th, uh, The Boys is making a comeback with a single album. I'm really excited about that. I... no, I liked their debut. I didn't like their comeback. I'm thinking I'm, I might like this one. Um, so I'm interested because I've liked some of their songs before. I haven't liked some of their songs before, so I would like to like them. I just have not gotten there quite yet with them. Um, also, GWSN is debuting that day. That is the group that I almost ordered with Dream, but their pre-orders weren't up yet. They are a brand new girl group. This is their debut, and I am so, so excited because one of my top, top girls from Produce 101 Season 1 is finally debuting. She was an independent trainee at the time, and she joined uh, this company, and she's debuting under them, and I'm watching their pre-debut show, and it's so cute, and I absolutely am, like, so blown away by these girls already and I just cannot wait for this album to come out so definitely check out that debut on September 5th I will be unboxing the album I pre-ordered it because my process my thought process is even if I'm really not a fan of their music I would like to have at least one album with Sokyeon on it and I, if 
I never buy another album from them again. <laughs> That's okay, but I would just like to have a physical album with Silk Hyun on it because I honestly thought that she had given up on Idol Life and was never going to debut, so this whole thing was such a shock to me. Also coming out on September 5th, Girls' Generation's OGG, which is their subunit. Um, it's the girls that are still under SM Entertainment all releasing a subunit album. Um, I probably won't end up buying this album for the sole reason of the only version being released is a Kino version, and I hate Kino albums with a passion. I don't own a single one. I will never buy one. I don't care who releases one. It could be Infinite, it could be Super Junior. I don't care. I'm never going to buy one. Um, but yeah, I don't like, you know, albums, so I don't support them. But I definitely am excited for this comeback. The teaser photos for it look so gorgeous, so I'm sure that this song will end up on my list next in September for my top songs of September. September 10th, it says Lovelies is making a comeback, but I think that's referring to their instrumental album because I know that that's a thing that is in the works for Lovelies um which is funny because Infinite had one and I wasn't sure if Lovelies was ever going to get one but I really won't end up buying that just because there are other things that I want to buy um this month including the other two comebacks happening on September 10th which are Oh My Girl and Pentagon We'll talk about Oh My Girl first because I have more to say about Pentagon. Um, I'm super excited for their comeback. I love, love, love Oh My Girl. I absolutely adored their last album. Um, I don't think I've ever disliked anything from Oh My Girl besides their subunit album. I, I can't. I can't with that album. They all look so gorgeous, this comeback, and they're one of my favorite girl groups. So of course I will be ordering at least one version of this album. Um, they're not high enough on my list. I don't think that I can reason buying two versions, but we'll see. Pentagon are making a comeback as eight members, which I'm so like, first of all, I want to get it out of the way that I'm completely fine with Yana not participating in this comeback because of his health issues. I feel like that is completely reasonable and there's, I mean, it would have stunk if like, you know, the other thing wasn't happening and it was just Yana and I would have been like, oh man, that stinks. Like, I hope he feels better soon. But groups promote without a member because of health issues all the time. So that's not really a big surprise. And it's actually better that they're not trying to push him into a comeback if he's not physically, mentally ready to promote in Pentagon yet. The one that I'm really upset about is Edon. I don't understand why that needs to be a thing. I don't understand why they need to continue to not put Edon in promotions or Japanese promotions for their newest single, was it a mini single? Their newest Japanese release. And also for this Korean comeback, I feel like that's so silly just because he's dating Hyuna and Hyuna's had to cancel a couple things too, I think. Um, I saw an article about that the other day. It's just like the saddest, saddest thing. As someone who is an elf and understands that sometimes when artists get married or get into a relationship, the fandom completely rejects them, but I don't know why I was expecting Pentagon fandom to not freak out that much, and they freaked out way more than expected, and it's just the saddest thing. Regardless, I'm excited for Pentagon's comeback. Um, it's gonna be real weird not hearing Idan or Yanan in the album, but um, hopefully they can come back for their next album because it Pentagon with eight members. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Then we have Hyomin coming back on September 12th. I saw the teaser for that the other day. Um, I've never been the hugest fan of Tiara, but I've always respected the members and their music. Um, so I'm excited to hear that song. Unity is releasing a single, I think, on the 13th. Because um, I think UNB is done promoting and Unity is ending promotions, which is so sad. That was like so quick and I just would like to see more from the members of both Unity and Unit B. And September 17th is GOT7. So GOT7 are releasing a full-length album, their third full-length album, and if you know me, if you've been following my channel for a little bit, this sun just went away. I have kind of an interesting relationship with GOT7's music. Their last comeback, I was kind of like really mad about the title track, um, but this title track is produced by Young J and I'm hoping he's my bias and I'm hoping that he pulls through this comeback because I would really really like it to like this song especially because there's five versions of it on this album um, including the instrumental version so yes I'm excited for God7's comeback it looks really really good so far but I'm trying not to 
hype myself up too much because I don't want to be disappointed. So I really hope they don't disappoint me because I absolutely love GOT7. But um, yes, so I'm super excited for that to come out as well. Um, that's all that I think I know about. Let me check another list that I have. But I do plan on buying GOT7's album. Oh, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. On September 12th, Hoya is releasing a digital single. That's not on this list, but Hoya is releasing a single and I'm so excited about it. Honestly, I was gonna film a video on for the day that he left Infinite as like a one year since Hoya left, like what kind of has been happening with all seven members. Um, and I just never got around to it. So yeah, I'm really sad about that, but um, I'm super excited for this single. I'm happy we're getting more music from Hoya, and I hope that it has a music video because that would be really, really nice. Um, it's just a digital single, so I won't be buying a physical copy of it because there isn't one. I think that's everything that is coming out in September that's been revealed so far. If there's another comeback that's happening that you're curious about what I think about it, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section down below. Yes, I... September is going to be a pretty busy month for me. I'm taking the GREs and I'm so nervous about it. And that's like at the end of September. So I'm, my channel might be a little quiet during September, but I'm really going to try to pre-film a bunch in advance um, so that it doesn't seem like I'm just studying all the time and not making videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about me doing this kind of video every single month down in the comment section down below and what you're excited for in September. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.